Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, roots. Uh, like, this is going to be a whole lesson about roots. So this is a lesson about roots. It's part of the quantitative section of the GAT or Qudrat exam. This video was requested by someone in the comments, so uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to talk first about a key point. So, roots can be written as exponents. This is something you should know. And for example, you have square root of a, it can be written as a to the power of one half. Uh, cube root of a can be written as a to the power of one to the third. Five to the root of a can be written as a to the, uh, to the exponent of one fifth. Okay, so now we understand that roots can be transformed into exponents. Well, this is the same way. So we said that if this is the same as this, then we know it's the same as this, right? This is 0 0.5. Yeah, so we got this down. Now let's do a practice example. 9 to the power of 0 0.5 plus 4 to the power of 1 uh, over 2. I want you to take a moment and try to solve this by yourself. Okay, so we said that this is the same as just the root of 9. And 4 to the power of 1 half is the same as root of 4. So, uh, all we have to do now is simply add. First, we add, what's 9 plus 4? 9 plus 4 is 13. So, what is our answer? Our answer is going to be 13. That's our final answer. So, simply 13. Okay, now let's move on to the laws of the roots. Okay. All this is saying is that the root of a times b is the same as uh, the root of a times the root of b. And the root of a divided by the root of b is the same as the root of a divided by b. And um, n root of uh, a to the power of m is the same as a m divided by n as the exponent. Uh, now let's see this in action. Before we do that, let's do this practice example. What is radical of 2 plus radical of 2? How do we apply this? How do we use the rules in order to solve this? Well, first of all, we can rewrite this problem. How can we rewrite this problem? It's just saying 2 times radical of 2, right? Because it has it 1, 2 times. So you can just multiply it by 2. And we know that the rule, we know that this rule says uh, that they are the same. We know that they are the same. So what we can do is simply just rewrite it as a root because we know the root of 4 is 2 so we can rewrite it as a root and then multiply it by 2 because we're bringing down the 2 and then we know according to the rule it equals the same thing so we're going to rewrite it as 4 times 2 which equals what's 4 times 2? 4 times 2 is 8 and then we have the radical so the answer to this problem is radical of 8. Let's move on to number one of our try it problem. So I want you to pause this video and try it on your own. Okay, I hope you guys at least attempted this problem. Now let's just dive right into the problem. So like we said, it's the same thing as an exponent. We said that this is the same as this. So what does that mean? We can rewrite this, right? So we have the radical, we have one, two, three radicals, right? All we can do is simply uh, rewrite this. We have 8 over here, so we're going to keep it. And then we can rewrite it with uh, exponents. Exponents of um, 1 over 2. And then rewrite it, because there's 3 times, right? So we rewrite it 3 times. So we rewrite it 3 times. Okay, now what we're going to do, now what are we going to do? We know when we're multiplying fractions, we just multiply across. So, all we do is simply multiply across. We know that 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. And then 1 multiplied by 8, 3 times is still 8. So, it's the same thing as 1. So, our answer, our answer is simply 13 to the power of 1, or just 13. But according to our choices, we have 13 to the power of 1, so that is our answer. Uh, let's move on to our next problem. So pause the video and uh, attempt this problem. I hope you at least attempted this problem. Now let's just dive right in. 
Okay, so number two is kind of similar to the practice example we did. And since it has an addition sign, same as this, we are going to simply just say, well, how many fours do we have? One, two, three, four. So we're just gonna multiply four times four to the power of two. And then we're gonna root it. What does that equal? Well, first of all, we have to put it in the same sense. So we're gonna put it in as the, uh, an exponent because we know two to the power of two is the same thing as saying four. And then we have four to the power of two. Now all we uh, simply do is just do the same thing as what we did above in the practice example and we multiply two times four, just two times four, which is gonna just give us eight. So our answer is simply A. Okay, now let's move on uh, to our next set of um, rules. So let's get started. We know that the root of a plus b is less than the root of a plus the root of b because in this sense uh, b is greater than zero and and the second one says and the root of a minus b is greater than the root of a minus the root of b where a is bigger than b so we can just substitute it that means four is greater than three so a is bigger than b it's saying here that a uh, radical of b is greater than b radical of a, where a is, gre is greater than b. Again, where it could be like 4 and 3, for example. Uh, now, let's see this in action. Let's see this in action. So, it says, compare the two values below. So, below we have 12 and 8, or I mean, root of 8 plus root of 4. Uh, what is this the same as? This is the same thing as saying 8 plus 4 uh, radical. And what is 8 plus 4? We know that 8 plus 4 is 12, so it's the same thing. And according to our rule, this is greater than this because the radical of something separately is greater than it. That means value B is greater. Let's move on. It says uh, compare the two values below. So we have value A and value B. And as we said, according to our rules, we have uh, the radical is going to be greater. So this would be greater than this when we have subtraction sign. Okay, uh, let's move on. So we have value A and value B. We know that the radical of 65 is the same thing as saying 121 minus 56. And what did we say as we said above? This is going to be greater. This is going to be greater. So value A is greater. Let's move on. So we have uh, to compare the two values again. And we have the value A as 2 radical of 4 and then 4 radical of 2. And according to our rules, according to our rules, rule number 3, it says that when a, where A is greater, that A being outside makes the whole value greater. So, let's look. A being outside, where A is greater, makes the whole value greater, meaning B is the greater value. Uh, we have completed our roots lesson. I hope uh, this was clear, and I hope the person that requested this is like uh, uh, have a better understanding about this lesson. And uh, this is WizWorks. Please don't hesitate to email me or comment down any suggestions or anything you're struggling with, like uh, lesson-wise. And see you in the next video.